I'm not usually one to follow every rumor that uh, comes out of the mill. But when one is accompanied by photos, as Nikon Rumors just released, of the rumored Nikon ZF, the full-frame version of the APS-C DX ZFC, well, I guess I'm ready to surrender. Good morning, Ray here. This certainly seems imminent. According to the latest article from Nikon Rumors, the announcement will come later this month or September, and it'll ship before the end of the year. Um, some of the features listed by Nikon Rumors include, um, it'll have a magnesium alloy body, 24.4 megapixel BSI CMOS sensor with X-Speed 7 processor, you know, the one that debuted in the Z9 and is also powering the Z8, up to 30 frames a second JPEG HEIF, maximum shutter of 1 8,000th of a second, ISO 100 to 64,000. It'll have a small LCD screen on top for aperture display, 4K 60p video, 10-bit H265 HEVC video, SDR, HLG, and analog, full-size 4K 30p cropped 60p, and 1080 at 120p. 273 focus points and comes with features from the Z8, Z9 with 3D tracking. High extended shooting for RAW and HEIF, shutter selection options, mechanical, electronic front curtain and auto, IBIS, uh, in-body image stabilization, USB-C power delivery, ENEL15 battery, C I presume, like um, in the Z8, dual memory card slots, SD and micro SD, and I hope that micro spec is wrong. But anyway, it'll have pixel shift, new high res mode implemented for the first time in a Nikon mirrorless camera. Interesting. Improved autofocus compared to the Z5 and Z6 II. One of the bundles will be with the Nikkor Z 40mm f2 SE lens. New third function on the sub lever of the shutter speed dial, besides photo video, for black and white mode, black and white photo, and movie. Better build quality compared to the Nikon ZFC, and I'll have something to say about that in a moment. Fully articulating screen. It'll weigh 700 grams, including the battery, and the price for the body is only $1,999, $1,999 US. A few different lens kit bundles will be available in the $2,000 to $2,500 price range. I'll admit, that I wasn't tempted by the ZFC, despite it inspiring a bit of nostalgia for my very first Nikon camera. The Nikon FM, which Nikon says inspired the ZFC. And as regular visitors may know, I still own an FM, one I bought a couple of years back. Again, to remind me of the glory of the first days of my professional gigs, and I shot them mostly with this camera. Not this exact one, but similarly, I bought into the Fuji X-Pro system back in 2016, admittedly in part because of the retro design and the desire to try mirrorless, and it worked. I got hooked on the advantages of mirrorless with that camera. But, uh, and I got in a lot of trouble for saying so, I found that retro design wasn't always practical in everyday use. My experience with the ZFC is entirely based on playing around with it at my local shop and a couple of test shoots coupled with third-party APS-C lenses. The files are very nice as far as IQ goes, um, what one would expect from Nikon Color Science, if I can use that phrase. But I think I've mentioned in other videos, I prefer full frame. And um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I said this in a video rather than to a fellow photographer, but I've, I've probably also said that to fellow photographers. If Nikon could make a retro camera with the build quality of this old FM, a little tank that I bashed against mountainsides and shot thousands and thousands of catalog photos, portraits, magazine covers, and outdoor gear ads. With this <clears throat> camera, I just might be tempted. If these leaked photos are anything to go on, assuming they <laughs> weren't AI generated, it does indeed look pretty rugged, but the proof will be, as they say, in the pudding. Maybe Nikon did <laughs> hear my request. I mean, they did hear my request for bicycle tracking. 
Will I get a ZF? Well, certainly not right away. I'm waiting to see what lenses are released next. And really, there's still a couple I'd like to have. I'd like to have the 24 to 70 f 2.8. I have the F mount version, one of just um, three F mounts left in my cupboard. But I'd love to have the weight savings and improved chromatic aberration control. I'm always tempted as well every time the 20 millimeter f 1.8 goes on sale. And I know that when the 35 millimeter f 1.2, assuming it's a 1.2, when that's announced, oh boy, as I said recently, that might also have to be relegated to the wish list. I do think that the ZF will be at least a good gamble. And to compete, I'm guessing, with the rumored uh, soon-to-be-announced Sony A7C II and A7CR. I think I have those right. I don't follow these developments that closely. But for sure, Nikon anticipates trends in this competitive and very tight market. I know from the shop that I deal with that the ZFC sells quite well. The rumors say the ZF will debut with just a black body. Uh, this was the silver one here, but I did own uh, a couple of FM2s with a black body. But I wouldn't be surprised if that was followed by at least some of the rainbow of colors the ZFC sported. <laughs> Maybe there'll be some new options there as well. If all this turns out to be more than speculation, well, I guess we'll know soon enough. My interest is certainly peaked now, and I have to say the Z8 and the Z9 are my workhorses now. They're just such a pleasure to work with. I spent the last week or maybe two weeks with these two cameras creating new content for this channel and doing a bunch of portraits. Whether it's shooting photos or video, what a team. Both of those cameras are unarguably best in their class. And speaking of the Z8, this just arrived a few days ago. <laughs> the small rig Z8 cage. That review will be added to my video rig playlist. Recently, I tested a fast UHS-2 SD XE V9 card for that secondary card slot in the Z8. The next video, because uh, this is just a quick response to the ZF buzz, it'll feature yet another option in that class. Look for that in the next couple of days. It's being edited. I'm also anticipating at least one more lens review before too long. I'm finally caught up after my unplanned hiatus. <laughs> if any of that sounds interesting, please do come back soon. And give this video the old thumbs up. That really helps a lot. And if this is your first time here, please consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell to be alerted to new content here. In the meantime, take care. Cheers. We'll see you later.